Hello, Snapcode community. Ready to take your backend skills up a notch? Today, we're going deep into two popular tools for database management in JavaScript, Next.js and SQLize. You'll discover not just what they do, but how they do it, and what that means for your projects. By the end of this video, you'll feel equipped to pick the best tool for any project, whether you need custom SQL control or prefer to work in a more object-oriented world. Let's jump right in. Picture this. Your next project needs solid database management. You're probably asking yourself, do I want deep control over every SQL command, or would I rather focus on my JavaScript models and let the database work in the background? Next.js and SQLize each give you powerful ways to handle databases in JavaScript, but the way they approach it is vastly different. Let's dive deeper to see which tool aligns with your style and project needs. First, let's talk about the importance of choosing the right database tool. Both Next.js and SQLize are highly trusted, but they're like two sides of a coin. The choice you make can impact development speed, flexibility, and long-term maintenance. With Next, you get low-level SQL control, perfect for performance tweaks. With SQLize, you gain an ORM's abstraction layer, which can simplify complex apps. Here's what that means. Next is ideal when SQL is your language of choice. SQLize shines when you want to think purely in JavaScript. Let's break down their unique features to see where each excels. All right, here's a closer look at each tool's core features. Next is a SQL query builder, not an ORM. This means you're still writing SQL, but in a more structured way through JavaScript. Next supports multiple databases with minimal configuration changes. So whether you're working with PostgreSQL, MySQL, or SQLite, Nex has you covered. One special feature of Nex is its chaining syntax. You can build complex SQL queries step-by-step, step, which makes it super flexible. Need a highly customized join or a specific ordering? Nex's fluent syntax lets you chain methods together, making it easy to read and modify. And Nex can be integrated with Bookshelf.js if you need simple ORM features like models and relationships without going full ORM. SQLize is a full-featured ORM that represents tables as models. If you're comfortable with JavaScript objects, SQLize makes it simple to create, retrieve, and manage records without writing SQL. SQLize has powerful model associations. You can define belongs to, has many, and many-to-many -many relationships in just a few lines. For complex apps with relationships across multiple tables, SQLize's model-based approach can be a huge time saver. With auto-sync functionality, SQLize can automatically synchronize models to tables. You define the model, and SQLize ensures the table matches, saving you time on migrations. Plus, SQLize has strong support for hooks and validations, enabling you to define specific behaviors before or after actions, like before a record is saved or after it's deleted. Let's get real about the differences. Here's where each tool shines and where they don't. SQL control. If you're a developer who loves having your hands on every SQL command, Next will feel like home. You're closer to the SQL language, which means every query is exactly how you want it. But if you prefer to skip the SQL and stay in JavaScript, SQLize's model-based approach will feel more natural. Data relationships. For projects with complex relationships, SQLize simplifies the process dramatically. With built-in support for associations, you can define relationships without setting up joins manually. Next, however, requires more manual setup and may involve Bookshelf.js or custom code for complex relationships. Query performance. Since Next lets you write optimized SQL, it often runs faster. By controlling exactly how your SQL is structured, Next can help fine-tune performance in ways SQLize's ORM may not allow. Flexibility versus abstraction. Next offers maximum flexibility with minimal abstraction, letting you control everything about your database interactions. SQLize abstracts most of this complexity, making it a better choice for developers focused on quick prototyping or those new to SQL. Now, let's look at how Nex and SQLize differ in code. These examples will help you see the actual syntax and think about what feels more natural to you. For Nex, here's an example of how you might select a user by ID. You'll notice that this syntax is a lot like chaining SQL commands. This gives you low-level control, letting you customize every part of the query. Now let's see the same query in SQLize, 
where you define models to work with your data more abstractly. With SQLize, you're using a find PK method directly on the user model. Notice how there's no SQL involved here. It's a more streamlined approach if you're comfortable with object-oriented methods. Ready to dig a bit deeper? Let's talk about some advanced aspects like joins, transactions, and migrations. Joins. With Nex, creating joins means manually writing out each condition. This gives you a lot of flexibility. In SQLize, joins happen automatically through relationships, like belongs to and has many. Here's an example of how you'd set up a one-to-many relationship in SQLize. Two lines of code, and SQLize does the rest. If you need custom joins, though, Nex lets you define exactly how they work. Transactions. Both tools support transactions, but the approach differs. Nex's transactions look like this. In SQLize, a transaction can be handled like this. SQLize abstracts the transaction slightly more, whereas Nex requires a bit more configuration, but offers lower level control. Think about the complexity of your project and how much control you need. Here's a guide to help you decide. Nex, if you need custom SQL queries or are building an app where performance matters, Nex gives you the control to fine tune each query. SQLize, if you need to manage a lot of relationships, have multiple models, and prefer an object oriented approach, SQLize will save you time. Still not sure? Try building a simple query in both and see which feels more natural. That hands on experience can be a game changer. And that wraps up our deep dive into Next.js versus SQLize. Whether you love SQL or prefer working with models, I hope this video has given you the insights you need. If this video helped you choose a tool, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts. Thanks for watching Snapcode. Happy coding.